Yo, what's up guys? So today we're gonna be working on creating this environment using my new tool, Vegetation Nodes. So, let's go! Alright, so you wanna start a blender. And when you first get the Vegetation Nodes, you'll get a zip file, a raw file. You have to unzip it, and it'll look something like this. So what you'll do here is just copy the path, file, append, and go Vegetation Nodes. Collection and vegetation nodes. Uh, so now we want to make a plane of whatever your environment is. Scale it up by five. Apply scale. So it comes with this spawner right here, which is basically like a big plane up here. We want to make sure our environment is inside of projection catcher catchers. So this way the grass can project down. So you just want to. And the reason that we're doing it this way is because if we have an obstacle here, we can put it inside of this thing and it will actually scale with the thing without you having to join the objects. So if it was joined, it would be just the one object. But this way you can have multiple different objects and still have it scatter on top. And if you don't want it to scatter on top, you can just move it outside of the collection. So we also have colliders, which just makes the objects move away. So if the scaling is a bit wrong, you just go in here and then mess around with the collider push force. And that should be adjustable till it kind of fits. All right, so we'll probably have to get rid of these flowers here. So what I'm gonna do is, so I'm gonna open up the stylized pack that comes with the vegetation nodes. And I'm just gonna copy a few things over here. Like the flower, let's see here, the rocks. Mm, that's about it. And we just go to grass presets. Make a new one, call it rocks. Just copy in. I'm gonna copy those rocks in there. Then make another one, call that one flower small. Copy that one in here. So there's already a few presets in here, but if it's not here, you can just copy it in from the collection that comes with the project. Uh, so this flower one, we want to change that to the stylized grass, which is just the two stylized grass that comes with it. Increase that one to like 500. All right, I'm gonna scale that up quite a bit. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna want to displace this ground here because right now it's kind of kind of flat. So it's like the ground subdivided. Uh, that should be good. Then we'll put a displace modifier on it. Use a cloud texture. I'm actually gonna give it a subdivision surface up here. That uh, looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna apply these. You don't have to, but I'm just gonna do that. Right, so now we have this grass here. I'm just gonna switch to cycles. I'm gonna up it to like 1200. It's pretty good. Uh, I'll add in a lot of sky texture and I'll just lower the sun intensity here. The strength a little bit. Oh, let's rotate the sun. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'll go to Gliders Interactive. Just add a sustain in here. Because why not? I'll actually smooth the ground. A little shade smooth. I'll just subdivide sustain here. Shade smooth. You can see how it interacts with the grass and everything. Alrighty. Now. We want to make a second system. So what we'll do here is press the vegetation node and we'll do Alt D. And the reason why we're doing Alt D is because when I go to edit mode and I were to scale it down, it's going to scale down the other one as well. It's basically controlling both of them at the same time. So this way we can put like 20, then we can switch it to like the flower small and we'll get the flower small in here. We can also use the clumping and then we can pump up the density here. You can see how we get clumps around. I'll just enable denoising here. We're getting these nice clumps. Switch how big they are, how small they are, how much the clump size is here. So I'll keep it something like that. Pretty good. I'll just add some random rotation here as well. I'll actually decrease it by quite a bit here. So 300. That looks pretty cool. Uh, so the ground right now doesn't have a texture, so we'll fix that real quick. Since this is pretty stylized, I'll just add like a brown material. Just orange and turn down. There you go. Uh, so now we want to press this one again and add another system. So Alt D and Alt D makes an instance. That's why when we edit one, it edits the rest. The cool thing about this as well is that you basically have a whole biome of this system right now. So if you were to like 
copy these. You could just copy it into another blend file and you would have the exact same vegetation. You could just scale it on whatever surface you want to scale it on. That's pretty cool. Uh, so now we want to add some rocks in there. We want to switch the texture to rocks the mossy rocks here i tried to keep everything at like one texture but couldn't really do that with the rocks i'll just save the clumps here now there's quite a bit of rocks but we'll decrease that so 25 maybe like nine that's pretty cool all right so we have rocks now but if we play this you can see how the rocks have winds and that's because by default the wind system is already activated they just want to put wind force on zero now that should be completely still you might also want to rename these just keeping it organized alrighty so might want to add quite a bit of a random rotation on these oh that's not rotation there you go that's starting to look pretty cool well actually a little bit more grass here that's nice all right so now we want to add some particles because particles look cool so you want to append so in the folder that you get there's going to be a particle nodes as well so i'll go to collections and particle nodes Let's see where that's fun oh i'm just gonna undo here make a new collection file append particle nodes so by default it's just one big cube so you can edit this cube to be whatever size you need let's scale it around here looks pretty good uh, so i'll move it over here i think they're a bit fast right now we can adjust the speed there you go a bit more particles i would say increase the max size there you go and then collision objects we want to pick well we got the collider or the projection captures i would probably put it on you could either put it on the projection captures which would be the ground or you could put it on the objects but i don't know Catcher. there you go so if you actually put the gravity down you can see how it collides with the ground which might be nice if uh, you need that and also down the bounce it kind of just falls it doesn't really bounce so should probably bake this one there you go so now it doesn't bug out the slow down the viewport Alrighty. so now we got particles so we got grass and we got flowers and we got rocks so i want to share a trick here you see how the background is it's like pretty nicely lit but the background is pretty boring so i found a pretty cool solution to that so you just want to go to the shader editor you want to go to world you want to make a mix shader then want to make a what was it light your light path then you want to do camera ray so now you got the lighting and you can actually replace the background now so if you put an environment texture Uh, so now i picked a texture and we can actually increase this one it won't affect the lighting because we've got the light path is camera ray so it'll, the lighting will only be affected by this one so this is a pretty cool technique to get like stylized backgrounds in blender and still keep the lighting of realistic environments it's pretty cool i, I actually want to increase the sizes of these rocks here so just want to increase the grass max scale there we go now this ground is actually pretty small so i want to make it bigger and the way we'll do this is by selecting the ground just going into edit mode and we'll just scale it and you'll see how the patch of grass and all that it'll stay the same size so we just want to oh, we actually don't need to select all of them we can just select one of them let's go top view and then scale this up now this is gonna slow down the viewport performance definitely but there's actually a few fixes for that so we just click the grass it will make this one rendered at 1500 we can decrease this one by like quite a bit and we'll get the viewport performance back so when it renders it will be fast and it will be the exact number that you want it there's actually a few more ways you can improve the performance so let's, let's actually keep the number at the same let's make a camera and then do view align view active camera to view there you go and now we can click the grass and we got this option which is camera curling. If you click this one, nothing happens. But that's because you gotta select the camera down here. You just wanna, oh, which one is it? Is this one? Object, camera, there we go. And now we just wanna decrease the x-axis. There we go. And it's actually gonna go down for the camera. We can decrease this one as well. There you go. So when we move the camera around, we get pretty decent performance. Like this is in the this is in rendered view, so it's still gonna tank it a little bit. But you could decrease this one to like 700 or something. It would be pretty performance. But when you go in here, it's really performance. If you press spacebar, you'll see the wind and everything. So that's of course adjustable. So let's move the camera down a little bit. I really wanted to make sure that we got as many performance things as possible. So 
All right, so let's adjust the wind. So we'll click the grass here. I just got the grass selected and we'll increase the wind speed. So now it's faster. We probably want to change the force a little bit. There you go. And the scale definitely has to be adjusted here. So if you want the flowers to have the same kind of same kind of wind settings here, we just want to copy those over. And then we got a weight painting. So we got the vertex group and the weight toggle down here. So you just want to this here. Probably enable weight paint. There you go. Name it group. So the way you know what name it is is by checking here. Vertex group. So that's the name of this one. So that's the one that's active. Oh, go to weight paint. Make sure that it's on mix. If you want to remove the weight paint you gotta use subtract now you can just paint in where you want some grass now if you don't like the amount of grass that's spawning you can use the weight multiplier here so change that one to like 200 now we're spawning a lot of grass around here increase it even more there we go 100 make a lot of grass right around here and if you're having a bit of trouble weight painting when camera killing saw just uh turn it off and you can paint everywhere Alrighty, so now we got the basics down. I will, I will definitely be updating the assets. I think quite a bit more variation, maybe some realistic packs in the future. But you can always use Quixel, which is from Epic Games. So you can just import any grass assets you need into the grass presets and change it out here and change the texture. So if you have any grass packs you want to use, you can just use any. You don't need to specifically use this one, but it's just included in the pack. So, so I hope you guys found this useful and hopefully you created some awesome environments i would love to see them so tag me on twitter if you make anything cool and i'll see you guys next time